news on the John Fork case. He was said to have been trying to reach people through calling them, but no mags. They're mags, not clips, you absolute fucking dummy. The same way that this is also... How can someone forget their dementia? How does this even make sense? Isn't this guy the president? Jeff the Killer was, of course, brought up. What's this? Beezer writes, quote, the original well, image of the last one. Interesting. The dual research of those individuals, their subreddit, and various threads going back. The team is merely trying to find where this mysterious video, or at least the still of the Asian woman, is. Well, I mean, I guess it's worth a quick look. I hear you. For the last 50 years, I've scoured this earth looking for your face. I've lost everything, even my sanity. But now, you're finally within my grasp. Show me that pretty face of yours. Hello, my name is Hyperface. I'm an investigator on the Jeff the Killer research team. And I've been searching for the image for about few months, maybe years, and I know, all blurs together at this point. Let's just say there's a reason no one can find this image. In this video, I'm going to be going over some interesting finds from the search, debunking some leads, and giving you my own personal theory as to the identity of Jeff. But before we get into that, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to join the hunt, I've left a link to the Reddit and the Discord down below. Please join the team, but be warned, once you start looking for this image, you can never stop looking for it. I mean, the curiosity is just too much. Also, if you have the image or know someone that does have the image, end our suffering, give the image to whoever, get your free 10K, and I, I just want to see this image found. All right, now that's out of the way, let's jump headfirst into the abyss. I'm going to assume you already know the basics of the search, but if you don't, there's a ton of great videos on it. I'll leave the link to some of them in the description. But the basics is we've tracked the image all the way back to Japan, found a few variants of it, a few repos, but not much else. Well, not that we can prove anyway. This is the first known instance of Jeff being posted for sure. It's been posted on a website called Fileman with the title Fear of Summer Night, the description a certain celebrity before plastic surgery. And let me just get this out of the way. I don't think either of these title or description have anything to do with the actual origin. For starters, the title Fear of Summer Nights is probably referencing Bob a Japanese festival of the dead and most likely why this image was posted because spooky season. Additionally, we can observe through comments on later reposts of the image that a celebrity before plastic surgery is referring to some sort of Korean celebrity that had sulfuric acid poured on them. And let me just say, if there was a Korean celebrity that had been burned severely with sulfuric acid, then I'm pretty sure that it would be on the news at least somewhere. I googled it, there's nothing anywhere. Unless I'm missing some massive thing here. I'm pretty sure this is BS, which actually means there's another version of the Jeff the Killer Creepypasta story that we can't find and we can't read. But once upon a time, there was actually another story that I'm assuming would be way better than the actual Jeff the Killer story, because let's be honest, the story isn't the strongest. But there's another story about some sort of Korean celebrity getting acid burned and then turning into Jeff the Killer. But who knows what it was called then, because, you know, we can't find the evidence. This brings us to one of the main problems of the search. Confusion. There are so many different accounts online of what exactly this image is and so many different variants of images that look so similar to Jeff yet have absolutely nothing to do with Jeff that people are misremembering as Jeff which is just making the search basically impossible. Okay, so if you really think about it, the description of Jeff is a Japanese ghost lady with a white face, black hair and some sort of bloody disturbed smile. Do you know how many- I mean you got- for, for example, just off the top of my head, you got the characters from The Ring that had already come out. So you got, uh, I can't remember the woman's name from The Ring, you know, a TV crawly person. So you got like about a million other generic J Japanese ghost women. I'm pretty sure this is just the default description for Japanese female ghosts. So basically this makes it impossible to go by word of mouth, unless it's like specific things about the image, which I mean, are so specific, it couldn't be referring to other things, if that makes sense. One that's probably caused us the most problems is this image that you may recognize from another creepypasta. I can't remember the name of the other creepypasta, it's like something to do with caterpillar or something. I don't know, but I know this image as the goddamn make me cute image. And trust me, this image has caused us serious pain. The amount of accounts to remember this image as Jeff is just completely 
insane. And Jeff appears alongside this image. So you think they'd be related, but no. This image was made in 2007, a whole two years after Jeff first appeared. And it first appeared in this thing called Make Me Cute, which was like a trend to make images cuter. There's no Jeff. I found all of Make Me Cute. That's how far I went. But people said Jeff was from Make Me Cute, so I was like, oh yeah, I found Make Me Cute, I found Jeff. No, 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 no. I found every single image from this Make Me Cute trend. Jeff is nowhere. To give you some more insight into just how many of these random images that have sent me down their own retrospective rabbit holes. These images, by the way, are ones that just me myself have found. I'm sure the rest of the research team have found a bunch more. I've prepared a video montage to show you just how many images have sent me on wild goose chases. Yeah, I've also probably picked up every single curse from cursed images in existence at this point. So I guess they've just counted each other out. Or they're all building towards something crazy, so... Right, so in this section of the video we're gonna go through past theories that have either been debunked or I just don't think that there are anything to do with the original image. Throughout the search there have been plenty of possible identities but unfortunately most of them have just been random middle-aged Asian women that have absolutely nothing to do with the search at all besides maybe the timelines matching up. However, there have been some more that are more likely than others based on descriptions in the past. We're gonna go through some of them now and completely debunk them. First of all, we got Sonoko. Sonoko, I've seen talked about more than anyone else as the possible identity. But let me just say, I would be very, very surprised if Sonoko turned out to be Jeff. If you don't know Sonoko, she's a popular net idol at the time. Uh, she gets bullied quite a lot online by the Japanese internet, who are, might I add, completely brutal. I don't know for the life of me why she got bullied to harbour. Firstly, her face does not line up at all with the image. I hate to break it to you, but let's be honest. Through image analysis, we're looking at an image in which the mouth has not been edited, and no one can convince me that this is Sonoko's mouth. I mean, all you need are a few side-by-sides to show that she just doesn't really match the image at all. So, even if it was tampered with, Sonoko was huge. And when I say huge, I mean everyone on the internet in the time knows who Sonoko is. So, the chances that she would become the original image, and people not remember that, is very low. Um, in terms of the horror image of Sonoko, I did actually find a horror image of Sonoko, funnily enough, which was one of the ones that sent me on the wild goose chase. Here it is, and as you can see, doesn't really look at all like Jeff. Alright, Tarumi, pretty much exactly the same as Sonoko. I mean, all the points are the same. People would have remembered Tarumi because she was huge as well, maybe even bigger than Sonoko. Funnily enough, I did find a thread on 2chan that's that was called Make Me Beautiful, and there were pictures of Tarumi? I don't know if she was the one that made the thread or it was a joke. I'm pretty sure we landed on the fact it was a joke. I just thought it was a funny thing to add. Um, it was very difficult to find, and when I found it, I did think I'd found the original image. Unfortunately, the images are kind of gore, not really anything to do with Jeff, so I think it's just a huge coincidence, which, I mean, we've had a lot of on this side. Kyle as the mouth. Let me just say, I see this all the time. People thinking 
The map is Karl Habermacki. The maps line up really well, I will admit, but the problem is Karl Habermacki was not internationally famous at the time the image came out. On screen now you'll see his birthday and as you can see he was a kid um, when Jeff the Killer was made and he was not famous internationally so it just it's just not likely at all that someone would get mad for some random kid from a different country completely and every sounds of Jeff it's I guess like 0.1% chance but uh, nah. Nachi! I like this one because we know absolutely nothing about Nachi still. No one knows who this is. No one. She, I have no clue who it is, so I can't tell you either way. For all I know, Nachi could be the original image, but until we find something about Nachi, it could be anyone. It could just be a random Asian woman. A dairy guy. Well, it's the same as Nachi. No one knows who this is. The setting does look similar, I'll give it that, but... Till we find out more about who the heck this is, can't say either way. Jin Suzuki is another one I've seen quite a lot, and with this debunk we have aspects from other bits. She, I'm sorry, not likely to be Jeff. We're talking about a mouth that is not photoshopped here. Eh, probably not. You know, she was alive at the same time as Jeff, I guess, but really there's just as much as chance as any other Asian woman. No, no offense to anyone on the Jin Suzuki part, but I just don't really think it could be her, but I mean, if more evidence comes to light, then prove me wrong, I guess. Live action Obecue. Okay, so you see Jeff constantly referred to as live action Obecue on the search. For you who don't know who Obecue is, I'll throw up an image of him now. Uh, this is Obecue. I think the reason people keep referring to Jeff as Obecue is because they look similar. And my personal theory is when the Jeff image was made, it was made to look like Obecue which is the reason for the potato head eyes as the choice for the image. Um, so my personal timeline, somewhere along the line, someone edited an image to look like Obiku, and then Jeff was like unintentionally made. That's why it's referred to as Obiku, because it was made to look like Obiku, and why it does look like Obiku. Why it was made to look like Obiku is one of the biggest mysteries of the search still. There was a live action Daruman thing going on at the time, and I think it had something to do with that. Additionally, something that's just so funny is there's another image circulating at the same time called Live Action OBQ that just looks so similar to Jeff. I'll throw it up right now. This image was from a Japanese variety show in the 80s, and I'll shove the clip now because it's quite funny. As far as I know, it's got nothing to do with Jeff. I suppose heavily edited it could become Jeff but I just thought it was a funny find and one of the many 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 funny coincidences this section I am going to shut down mock-ups for god's sake I've never seen a full montage of all the mock-ups I keep seeing mock-ups getting posted on the reddit like oh my god guys I found the image and just post some mock-up like okay mock-ups 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 there's so many and it's just stop making them who is making all these mock-ups all these mock-ups are doing are just making the search harder because people are finding mock-ups and posting them as if they found the original but they're just another mock-up and more mock-ups are being made why stop just stop anyway here's a montage of all the current known mock-ups and also the debunked theories so so if you see one of these images do not send it to the reddit just just stop stop it my dear Come, tiptoe to the window, by the window, that is where I'll become, tiptoe through the tulips with me, tiptoe from your pillow to the shadow of a willow tree, and tiptoe through the tulips with me. Now let's get down to the good stuff. Stuff I have not seen yet shared on YouTube, but I mean it's very promising. Alright, so as many of you know, one of the earliest known posts of Jeff the Killer was by a user named Mole Holland on a site known as Pia. The image was titled White Powder Part 2. Part 2. So if you don't know how parts work on Pia, 
Basically how it normally goes is the user posts an image, someone else remixes this image through editing or Photoshop or something, reposts the image, their edited version of the image, and calls it part something of that image. Do you want an example of this down here? Is it done with Omega Bowl? So basically what I did was I found a really, uh, I was basically going through the archives of Pia on Wayback Machine, and some of the images in old Pia were archived, it, there's, there's two different Pia archives, so there's like an old archive and a new archive. Um, but there was indeed a white powder part one. This white powder part one, we cannot confirm if it definitely was the original Jeff the Killer image. However, I strongly believe it was because in the whole timeline of Pia, there are only two posts called white powder. White powder part two by Mark Holland and white powder part one by Daki Makura, whose name translates to body pillow. So we're going to call him body pillow from now on. Unfortunately, this image was not archived, of course. If it was, we might have finished the search, but no, it wasn't archived and I have absolutely zero clue where he got this image. If you look at Body Pillow's website, there are just cat pictures and we don't know anything about the guy. So at the moment it's a pretty dead lead. There is some hope if we can find out more about Body Pillow, or at least where he got the image from, maybe we can find it. Another thing I thought was interesting about Body Pillow posts, Body Pillow mainly posts NSFW content, which strongly adds fuel to the fire. But Jeff the Killer was originally a post from an NSFW website, because it would definitely make sense if White Power the Part 1 was the original, and Body Pillow posted it from like a cam site or something. The question is, what cam site? Where did he get this image and what is this image? It could be, it could be. Now we get into the exciting stuff that I haven't really seen properly talked about and believe me, this is one of the leads I've been looking into the most. Coach Dombo, Koga Dombo, I couldn't figure out how to pronounce the name. Coach Dombo, I'm gonna just call it Coach. Out of all the possible identities, Coach is definitely the most likely in my opinion. And I have been on this search a long time. Trust me, Coach is like, fits the bill pretty much. I'm 99% sure it's her. The first reason is we found multiple people in different comment sections across the internet that said that they remember it being an edited Coach image. This is such a specific and random thing that I don't think it can be a coincidence. Completely having no idea about each other saying that they remember this Coach image and we haven't found the Coach image yet. With the other ones like Mimikyu, we found an image that they were talking about so we can go, yeah, they might have been talking about that. They might have been talking about that. But this one, there was some sort of scary code image around. And once I, once I show you the next evidence, you're, you're gonna be even more convinced it was Jeff. But, absolute legend, found all these archive posts that talk about a scary code image. Unfortunately, we can't find this image yet. However, we did find some line art which shows what this image might have looked like and it's Jeff, it's Jeff. You can't really look at that and say it's not Jeff, like look at it, look at it on your screen right now. The chances that this is not Jeff, it's so minuscule, I am convinced. Another part of this is, and this is no offense to coach at all, say the map isn't edited, if we line up the two images, this is definitely a possibility. Look at the lips, look at the mouth shape, it could have been walked into Obiku, and I say walked into Obiku because I don't think this may image was made intentionally to be scary. I think it was made as a joke to look like Obiku and become unintentionally scary. Welcome to the bonus realm where I spill random facts about the search. I don't really understand this, but the metadata says the account that posted the image was from 1988. Do what you will with that. One of the comments said it looked like Mario, which I now know is a character from Mario, but I thought I misread it at the time and I thought someone said it was from Mario. So I watched all of the live action Mario movies, including NSFW, and let me just say, I was scared. I was scared. Yeah, a lot of people say about the broadcast incident, that was a different image. I'll throw it up on the screen right now. Not really anything to do with Jeff. I've seen a lot of cool horror stuff on this search, I must say, I must say. It could still be Mrs. Noisy, you know? This was my leading theory. When I first joined the search, there was this woman. Uh, she was being memed on on the internet around the exact same time as Jeff. She looks like she could fit Jeff, and so far, no one has really disproven it. I'll show some other memes of Mrs. Noisy because they're quite funny. Well, I mean, Miyama was messaged about it, and he said it was Mrs. Noisy. I mean, you think he will remember when he said it was Jeff because he seems to remember what it was, but who knows, who knows? I probably missed something important, um, if I have, please remind me in the comments, but um, I've, <laughs> I've added everything I seem to think is important in this video so far. Finally, I just wanted to say, if you're planning on starting looking for Jeff, Yandex and any other reverse image search platform, I mean, if you find an image that you think could be Jeff, throw it into one of them, and it's probably going to have no repost if it is Jeff. You're not going to, just don't search on it, if you know what I mean, don't look for the image on it, because trust me when I say we have scoured the surface web. If Jeff exists, he's on the Wayback Machine. He is on 
the Wayback Machine. Um, so that will just save some time if you're planning on searching. Do not send an image and claim it's the original unless you've extensively researched it. I'm looking at you, play more. Now this image, I actually found, uh... <laughs> I forgot. Seriously though, if you're thinking about joining, the researchers in the Discord and the Reddit are perfect to get you going. Join the Discord so you can get up to scratch and whereabouts we are in the search. Um, we're sort of still looking for a code image at the moment, slash searching if we've missed anything as well. It could be something completely unrelated. Basically, the two theories at the moment for me are Koge or Random Cam Girl. Yeah. If you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed my weird unhinged ramble. If you want more, please subscribe. Um, we're doing weekly videos. I haven't found my niche yet, but if we could do more horror videos, I'm excited to grow and just figure out how to do this YouTube thing. I will obviously cover this search more as I'm on the front lines fighting this battle. If this image is found, I am very, very, very excited to see what it is, as I, I, if it's something that I saw for it was, it's going to be so satisfying. If you have anything to add, comments down below. Uh, anyway, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh... Peace!